Right, we're at the top of Paphos Harbour now. Um, we are by the Alexander the Great Hotel. I stay in a place called Luminara Gardens, which is literally 500 metres up this road. It's ideally located if you like apartments and villas and that lot. Um, much better than Universal, so if you're thinking of going to Universal, you're in for a walk. Ignore what the leaflets and that lot say, the information says. It's a good 20, 25 minutes, if not longer, depending on what part you're staying. But here you've got like quads for rent, there's properties for sale and that lot. I can say that Alexander the Great Hotel. Now you can take a shortcut um, onto the beach, and it's just down here. But we're not going to go that way today, because I'm going to show you some of the shops and that lot, and bars and eateries and that. But yeah, you can get straight to the ocean just there. So it's like they're building some more apartments. But it's a very easy walk either way. Normally, I, I don't go this route. I prefer to go down um, by the sea and walk along the ocean into the harbour. But I just want everybody to sort of see what's up this end. So now, I think we've come to like a, maybe a, a restaurant or a bar, some property shops. There is a um, medical place, which we'll come to, that does a PCR test for um, flights back to England. Um, it's ideally located if you haven't got a car or you're around here, but I won't lie, it is a bit on the expensive side. It's 70 euros, which you do get the results the same day. Lots of villas for sale, rental. Cruises. It's a restaurant. Actually, it's a closed restaurant, it's for sale. Probably a sign at the time. Excursions again, cars for hire, etc. Coming to some shops now. As you can see it sells the um, sun creams, water, and all that, lot. souvenirs. You hear the crickets going in the background, never ending. Looks like a one euro shop, they think from, from a euro. Porta Bella. The island restaurant. Good no idea of some of the prices, you'll have to pause it. New homemade pizza. I think that's her breakfast menu. If you fancy a breakfast. That actually is everything.
Morning. 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 How Morning. are you all right? I'm fine, fine. Yourself? Very good, very good. Yes. Where are you from? England. England, bro. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. We offer a drink. Anything you want, anything you like. Oh, all right, okay, thank you. Okay. Pop to the shop. Restaurant. Another property shop. I won't go over there, but it's just a couple of restaurants, bars. Wait for the cars to go. It's a health centre, part of the medical, it's called. They're going to check out the PCR test. Yes. Hello, here, what's up? A bit expensive in there. 70 euros that one. If you know where the Tomb of the King's Road is, you can get for 28 for the PCR test. But it's up to you. Here, a nail place. Cafe bar. Toasted sandwiches and that. Japanese. And we'll do the prices. Hotel over there, Annabelle. Another souvenir shop. I might tell you what it sells, I'm sure you can guess. As well as see. Cafe bar, or why not? Football. Opticians. Yeah, a mixture of shops just sort of put anywhere, really. Clothes and jewellery. Pancakes for seven and a half euros. Got a nice Chinese restaurant over here, it's upstairs. It's called Imperial. Costa Coffee just over there. My driving on the paths here and cut you up as well, so just watch it. Amani, Seiko, Jules, etc. Watches. It's like a letting consultants.
Uh, a nail bar. Some frosted coffee. Coffee island. It's quite a nice pass actually. I haven't been in there. Okay. Got some apartments there on the left. Tours. Now if you want to park here, along this strip, just be aware it's only one euro, but if I'm reading it right, you can only park for an hour. So, I'm pretty sure that says maximum one hour, but just bear that in mind. Rentals. Pharmacy. Can you know? Cat. Fully air conned. Just a feeling not I want to drink. Just a place to go. Or one of them. Personally, I like tea for two. That's where I'll go for my breakfast anyway. It's quite nice in there. Over there's a cafe Nero. Taxi rank there as well if you need a taxi. There's a kebab place over there, which isn't too bad. It's like a leather shop there. I had a kebab out there last year. I won't lie, it was quite nice actually. And it, I guess it's still quite busy because yesterday all the seating area was taken up. So This is my place, tea for two. I always eat in here for breakfast. I've tried a few other places, but I don't know, I just like eating here. So. to the tables as well and then there's a few bars in that lot down there, I won't go down there, it's not really the main sort of part but cross over while I can. That bar there is really nice in the evenings. Well it's really nice any time of the day I suppose but get a nice cool breeze in the evenings. This is another favourite of mine. Gonna have a look at that in just a sec. But there's a few souvenir shops here. ATM bank jewelry. Ocean here. Let's have a look at the menu, see what the prices are. You can generally tell it's really decent because all the locals are being in as well. Tommy Hill figure shop. Now this Chinese restaurant is really good. I've tried getting in here twice. Twice without pre-booking though, so my advice, book. Because it does get busy, this one. OK, 
kebabs in this one are nice. This is actually all one restaurant. Um, although the signs make you think different, uh, it's all one restaurant. Jewelry shop. Loads of places to eat here. Too many, really. But there's some municipal baths over there. A lot of the locals, quite a few of the English as well. They go swimming. Let's go and take a quick look. This car goes past. I'll take a look from over here. Ideal cafe, seafood platter 35, Lasagna 1150, etc. Some apartments up there you can rent. Kahina Seaview Apartments. the sea is today. But yeah, you see all the locals swimming. You can actually go, well they normally go from one side to the other. So they dive off the platform or use the uh, steps provided. A lot of them they just go out for a bit of swim. Some do swim over to the other side there. So, there's some of the beachfront hotels. If you look at my St. Nicholas Church walk, we'll, you'll see them on there. Yeah. Little fishermen. It's lovely and calm today. <laughs> See there, you need your safe pass. What the safe pass is for tourists is basically your fly pass. Make sure you've got that to hand. Because every place they should be asking you for your fly pass. Pizza Express out the back there. There's another kitchen and bar restaurant. Tobacco shop, you can exchange your euros there as well. 115 at the time of video in this, and that's about spot on to be honest with you.
Souvenir shops. Like a designer type shop. Got diesel, Levi's. Arcadia. Other opticians. Like a sunglasses shop, Ray Ban, Oakley, Boss. Let's have a look in there later, aren't you? Do some sunglasses. There's a little mini market down there. Um, it's much the same as what you've seen already basically clothes shops, souvenir shops, etc. Captain's Bistro, Captain's View, up the top there. I don't think I've eaten in this one actually. I honestly can't see if you're getting there. So, reflection's horrendous. I think you are. We have to pause it now. Two forty a pint, one sixty for a half, four euro for cocktails. Two forty a pint. I suppose it's not bad considering you're in the harbour. Got to the King's Road. It goes down to about two. Um, it's a place called Ben's Bar. That's where I go a lot of the time. It's full of English expats in there. It's a really good place. Two pound for a pint of Carlsberg, I think it is. Steps up to the captain's view. The moorings. Got a play area around the back there somewhere. Got you. Again, I can't see if you're getting this, so if you're not, apologies. Seafood and that lot. Oh, there's the kids there. We're there. Good morning, my friend. For lunch or for dinner? For anybody who wants to come here. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. For ice cream place. Looks like it's shut, shut down. A restaurant. Do an English breakfast here. Four euros. Two eggs, bacon, sausages, beans, tomatoes, marmalade, and a small juice. That's not bad actually.
right here the other night. I'm assuming this is all one restaurant, I think it is. And I had the garlic bread for starter. And then I had a pizza with my own toppings on. And the food was absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, it is called Arbor, I was right. Yeah. I highly recommend, especially if you like pizza, garlic bread, coming into here. I can't recommend anything else because I haven't tried anything else, but it's always busy. So I'm pretty sure it wasn't very good. I wouldn't get used. It's really nice out of us. Oh, it's cross over. Your name on a grain of rice. Have your hair wrapped. Say wraps. Fresh fruit. Oh no, that's not fruit. Sponges, sorry. Now here is where the main bus centre used to be. I've completely bulldozed it. I'm not absolutely sure what they're doing, if they're just re tarmacking it and rebuilding it. But the buses are now over there in the background. They used to be right out the front here. And half the car park's gone as well, so which is why you can see all these bollards and that. But, but you can still get in, but you just got to be, make sure you're early coming down for the evening. That's an airbrace one. It's an ATM here. Need some money. Don't know if they charge, I've never used them, so. I bring cash or I bring a top up currency card. So if, I, if I'm out, for instance, and I haven't bought enough out with me, just go on the app on my phone. Transfer some money to the card, pay on the card. Easy as pie. The exchange rates are really good as well. It's a bit busy one up here. That's the entrance to the archaeological site. Um, I haven't been to it for a few years, so I'm sorry I can't give you the cost of entrance. I think it's only something like two and a half euros. Um, but worth a visit. So if you're looking for somewhere to kill a bit of time, an hour or two, then have a look around there. Ocean vision. Um, guessing it's some kind of like cruise party boat. It's like there's a lot of sun lounges there, so I'm guessing you go out for a while. It's a slide off the side there, look, deflated at the moment, but no doubt when they go out, that'll come up. Last bottom boat cruises. Quite a big one, that.
Good luck to them being stuck on that out in the ocean, in this heat. King's calf. I'll probably get accosted by the staff on these calves because they always do. Do things like stuffed mushrooms, feta cheese, salads, fish dishes, pastas, steaks, the children's menu as well. Morning. Morning. Yeah. Sorry? You weren't helping? I'm helping. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring some customers oh, yeah. to you. Oh, yeah. Kid for it. It's like a, a oh, live right. one. Yeah, they are very, very friendly. I've never had anybody that I can remember just giving any sort of attitude, you know? Even when you're turning them down or they would say thank you, well, come back another time, etc. I know they're just trying to get you in there, but still. Property shop there again, part of the restaurant. Let's go down here and have a look at the, how much the excursions are. So the Blue Lagoon cruises are. 59 for another 24 foot chart. I shall move out of this lady's way and let her do what she wants to do. So it's all inclusive, Blue Lagoon. On the ocean. Blue. Transfers, there's an open bar, Wi Fi, swimming. Oh, right. Swimming in the ocean, of course, yeah. Divvy. Firework show. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 12 till 4, 59 for an adult, 29 for kids. I suppose it's not too bad. I mean, you are on holiday, aren't you? So there's your vision. There's this one here. Big one. So for me, considering my boys all adults. Hello. Be, good morning. Morning, sir. Be looking at about 300 euros. Turtle watch increase. There's so many different things here. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine. Hello. Tuesday, Friday and Sunday, 
11 till 3, all inclusive. That's quite good actually. That one's 49 for an adult, 25 for a child. That's not bad. Wave dance here. Morning, morning. See the back end of this, sir. No, I'm fine. If we can go in, we can see the bar at the back. I'm not sure if it's going to focus actually on this line, it might be. See how far back it goes. Pilot's cruise. Safari. <laughs> Love the music. Last spot. Morning. Not for me, thank you. Last spot of cruise. Place you to the sea case, shipwreck, total boat. Right up to the pass of Aphrodite. It goes all the way up to Lachi. Yeah. That's quite, that's quite a distance actually. It's a safari with a boat. Yeah. How much is it? 50 euros. 50 euros. For, how much for children? Or is it 50 for everybody? 50 for the adults, 30 for the children. 30, so it's 50 for adults, 30 for the children. So how many of you are? No, I'm just filming it for my YouTube channel. I'm just filming it for my channel so people know who might want to come here. So they know, you know, in advance how much they might pay. So, yeah. Okay. You can contact us on that number. Okay. We do also today a mini cruise if you are interested. Not today. Okay. Not today. Just a oh, thank, you. Right. thank you. I think I have trouble understanding that. I'm not actually wanting to go on any of the cruises. I'm just filming to give you guys an idea of what the prices are. You know. Well, I suppose. I can record them in public, love. And there's always one who has an attitude. It's another souvenir shop. Another restaurant. Beers, cider. It's got sports in here. If you want to watch your football? Got Brentford versus. Was that yesterday? I'm sure on the date today. No, that's this Friday. Saturday 14th, we've got United versus Leeds. Burnley versus Brighton. Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. And so on and so on. There's another restaurant by the harbour. What? I don't know what this is here. Good morning, boss. Good morning. Very nice camera. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's HD. 4K. Okay. 
Yeah. 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 Ports Authority building. Looks like this is going to be part of it as well. Coming up to the castle now. It's a big old stage over there. I haven't noticed that before actually. They've just recently erected a That's a walk to Lighthouse Beach up there. If you follow that, that'll take you to Lighthouse Beach. Probably about 20 minutes, I suppose, 25 minutes. And I think we'll conclude this here. We'll have a quick look around. That's most of the harbour. Let's see. Navy vessel there actually by the stage. We'll finish with a look at the castle.